The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A shoot will spring from the stock of Jesse. A new shoot will grow from his roots. On him will rest the spirit of Yahweh, the spirit of wisdom and insight, the spirit of counsel and power, the spirit of knowledge and fear of Yahweh. His inspiration will lie in fearing Yahweh. His judgment will not be by appearances. His verdict not given on hearsay. He will judge the weak with integrity and give fair sentence for the humblest in the land. He will strike the country with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips bring death to the wicked. Uprightness will be the belt around his waist and constancy the belt about his hips. The wolf will lie with the lamb, the panther lie down with the kid, calf, lion, and fat stock beast together with a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear will graze. Their young will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like the ox. The infant will play over the den of the adder. The baby will put his hand into the viper's lair. No hurt. No harm will be done on all my holy mountain. For the country will be full of the knowledge of Yahweh as waters cover the sea. That day, the root of Jesse, standing as a signal for the peoples, will be sought out by the nations, and his home will be glorious. And our response is taken from Psalm 72. God, endow the king with your own fair judgment, the son of the king with your own saving justice, that he may rule your people with justice and your poor with fair judgment. In his days, uprightness shall flourish and peace in plenty till the moon is no more. His empire shall stretch from sea to sea, from the river to the limits of the earth, for he rescues the needy who call to him, and the poor who has no one to help. He has pity on the weak and the needy, and saves the needy from death. May his name be blessed forever and endure in the sight of the sun. In him shall be blessed every race in the world, and all nations will call him blessed. And our second reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. And all these things which were written so long ago were written so that we, learning perseverance and the encouragement which the scriptures give, should have hope. Now the God of perseverance and encouragement give you all the same purpose, following the example of Christ Jesus, so that you may together Give glory to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ with one heart. Accept one another then, for the sake of God's glory, as Christ accepted you. I tell you that Christ's work was to serve the circumcised, fulfilling the truthfulness of God by carrying out the promises made to the fathers. And his work was also for the Gentiles, so that they should give glory to God for his faithful love. As scripture says, for this I shall praise you among the nations and sing praise to your name. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. In due course, John the Baptist appeared. He proclaimed this message in the desert of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. This was the man spoken of by the prophet Isaiah when he said, a voice of one that cries in the desert, prepare a way for the Lord, make his paths straight. This man, John, wore a garment made of camel hair, 
with a leather loin cloth around his waist. And his food was locust and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole Jordan district made their way to him. And as they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. But when he saw a number of Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, Brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming retribution? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not presume to tell yourselves, We have Abraham as our father, because I tell you, God can raise children for Abraham from these stones. Even now, the axe is being laid to the root of the trees, so that any tree failing to produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown on the fire. I baptize you in water for repentance, but the one who comes after me is more powerful than I, and I am not fit to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn. But the chaff he will burn in a fire that will never go out. The Gospel of the Lord.